Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a really exciting vlog because today I'm moving to Australia. Um, I'm just at an airport in Kuala Lumpur. One second, I've got to go through some security. I'm really hungry, so I think I might just get a little Starbucks. Oh my god, I've been here before. I've been here twice before. This is such a cute Starbucks, look at this. Look at the mugs on the wall. And you can watch the plane, but it's dark actually. Okay, I'm just gonna think what I'm gonna have. I've had like two hours, two and a half hours sleep in the last 24 hours. I should feel worse than this, but I think I'm just running off adrenaline at this point. Trio cheese, smoked chicken sandwich. That sounds so good. We don't have that in England. I've got to do that. Water. Hello. Yeah. Please, can I just have a trio cheese smoked chicken? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. And that, please. Um, Can I give you meat? Uh, yeah, it's rose. rose. Yeah. Um, can I also just do a, a cappuccino, please? Cappuccino. You want a hot or ice? Uh, hot, please. You want more or less? Um, small, please. Thank you. If that's to have here as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's to have here. Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna try my trio of trees. Tr trio, a trio of trees. Trio of trees and chicken. Okay, the chicken looks questionable, but that's okay. I trust, I trust Starbies. Or do I actually? Actually, I shouldn't be in here, should I? Because it makes me support Costa instead. Fuck, okay. From now I'm a Costa girl. Um, anyway, I am hungry, so I'm gonna eat this. This, already tried it. Look at, look at how they slide the little... This is stunning. It's probably the nicest coffee I've had in a while. And I know why it is. It's because we're heading towards Australia. The New Zealand. Where all the coffee is amazing. So yeah, I'm just going to eat this. And then, and then I'll share the tea with you. Cheers, guys. And cheers to being single. Yeah, I said it. Harry and I have broken up yesterday and I flew the next day because I figured it's what would be easiest. Um, I'm not going to talk about it on here in detail because I just want to give him some respect and some privacy. Um, I've had so many nice messages off everybody. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited for this next chapter of my life and I feel like things are going to get a lot better from now on. I, I've, I've only ever dreamt of living in Australia. I never like planned it or took any action towards it. It was like a far, far... I've always said it's like, if I ever have babies, I want them to be on the beach in Australia. Um, but I'd never just thought about, why don't I just try and move to Aussie like now and just see if I like it. So I've been there a lot, but um, I've never lived there. So this is weird. Let me eat and then I'll, I've got so much to tell you. Okay, it's still really hot, so I'm gonna eat and have like, pretend I'm having like a coffee and a meal with you guys, like a, a proper catch up. Um, so I'm on like a three hour layover now. I went from Birmingham, I got the coach to London and then I got a seven hour flight to Abu Dhabi and then I got a six hour flight to Kuala Lumpur, which is where I am now in Malaysia. And then I had to collect my bag, go out, go through customs, check my bag back in. Oh, and I had an absolute mare. I never learn. I never learn. One sec. And the coffee is nice and hot as well. My, my natural hair really needs a cut and I just can't wait to have a big glow up. Like, so my little sister, who normally lives in New Zealand, is moving to Perth while well, she moved there last week. And then one of my bestest friends called Grace, she moves there in a few days time. And I was kind of like, 
Wait a minute, everyone around me is moving to Australia. I've always wanted to move to Australia. I'm just gonna move to Australia. So, here I am. I've got one six hour flight left. So my sister's already settled there with her boyfriend and their dog. And when I get there, she'll pick me up from the airport. I'm so excited to see her because I haven't seen her for like six months, a year. I don't, I don't know, I lose track. But mm, I've arranged for an audition at a club that I really want to work at. It's called Penthouse in Perth. And that audition is the day that I arrive. So there's no messing around, I'm going straight into work. Fingers crossed I get the job because I've heard really good things about this club and I think I'll take you guys with me on the audition. I'm a little bit nervous but I'll see if it feels appropriate to vlog. If not, I'll definitely do like a shift vlog very soon within like the first week that I work there. These girls are going to be like, who is this new girl? Why is she recording everything? <laughs> um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to go to a new club that's different because in Australia I feel like dancing is taken very seriously is a lot focused on the stage whereas some of the clubs that I just worked at in England like in Stratford up and over and in where was it somewhere else didn't have a stage there's no stage so you just like you just do your talking and you know your normal dances but you don't dance on stage and for me the whole part of the job that I really love is like stage is one of my favorites so I can't wait to get on that stage it's been a while um not that I can do any tricks or anything but you don't need to do tricks um but it would be appropriate if I was to learn some tricks um I already feel like things are just fitting into place like you know I've got the audition lined up for the day I get there my sister's there, my friends are there. I'm just really excited to be in a fresh place, be where the sunshine is, be where the sea is, and um, get back to me and doing what I love to do the best. And yeah, I can't wait to involve you guys and take you guys with me. I'm gonna have a lot more time on my hands now for like filming and editing, so. Oh yeah, another drama that I had. By the way, my accent is about to change rapidly. Like, the next vlog that I make, my accent won't be British anymore. It'll be, like, New Zealand all over and over because I'll be around my sister and my New Zealand friends and Australian people. Um, um, so, when I checked in, the flight that I booked was only 20 kgs luggage. And um, your girl needs a bit more than that, but... I weighed in at 32 kgs and last time I was overweight doing one of these massive trips I um I thought I'd just pay the extra it was 900 pound that's like two thousand dollars so when I weighed 12 kgs over I was like oh no 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 I've done this once before I am not doing it again so I just binned a load of stuff at the airport I had to and I feel like that stuff doesn't I can't even remember what I binned because I'll get there and I'll be like, why have I got nothing in here? <laughs> but no, like it's just all material things, isn't it? And I left loads of stuff in England when I left, you know, with the breakup. So all I really need is myself and a few essentials. So I'm pretty good at practicing detachment. Like I'm quite detached from most things really, I think. Which I think can be quite beneficial to be honest because I'm a free bird. It means that you can go anywhere and do anything and have time alone and have minimal possessions. This trip has turned me into, definitely, I'm now a minimalist. But I said to my sister, I just vision myself like getting to Australia, my sister picking me up and just going to the ocean and like running into the sea. <laughs> it's so dramatic. But I was like, sis, can we go to the sea like straight away? So I think she's she's like, yeah, I've got two beach towels. We'll just go to the beach. So I think we're literally just gonna go straight to the beach. I'm so excited. I just feel like I'm doing the right thing. And even though like breaking off an engagement is horrible and breakups are hard. 
I just do feel like this is the right thing and yeah there's always a lesson learned from everything so I know personally what lessons I've learned and sending so much love to Harry oh I've noticed as I've like become more into like the hotter countries everyone's so happy like I really feel like the sunshine does make such a difference to people's mood well it's science isn't it but the people in Costa were just like bye bye Rose waving at me and smiling okay what gate am I going to where am I going Perth H2 H2 where is that H this way. I just went through immigration here and I got changed because it's really hot in Malaysia and it's gonna be really hot in Perth. Um, I don't have any eyelashes at the minute don't mind me but um so i put little shorts and top on and uh it was dead like it was really empty and the immigration officer was like like and then there was another immigration officer that was like oh hey come here they were like fighting over who could check me into their country i mean bitch i've arrived anyway um <laughs> I'm gonna go through another bit of security now, my luggage, and then I will update you guys on everything and take you with me to Australia. One flight to go, I've done two flights. I've traveled for over 24 hours and I've got about seven hours left maybe. Hi everyone, so I finally landed in Australia. There was a bit of drama getting on the plane. There was just this guy that was like making me feel really uncomfortable. Um, but he was also trying to argue with other people. I don't look my best. Obviously, I've just travelled about... About 35 hours or something. Across, across the world. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting for my case. And then I'm it's so strange. It's so strange. So strange arriving in a place where you've got no idea what to expect, no idea what it looks like. It's such an exciting feeling, especially when you're moving here. Like this is gonna be my home for most of the year round now. And yeah, I'm just very in the moment, very grateful, and very, very excited. So I'm gonna get my bag and then my sister should be here. Um, I sat next to this lady who lives in Perth and we spoke for the whole six hours. She was amazing and she, ta she taught me so much about Perth and she loves where she lives. And yeah, it was just like a really nice welcome and introduction to this beautiful country. Just landed in Perth. I'm so excited. Mwah. My suitcase is a bit battered. I don't look my best, but yeah. I can't wait to have a shower. I want to just jump straight in the ocean, to be honest. But yeah, I've got my case. And I've arrived. Ah, oh, Byron Bay Brewery. I love Byron Bay. So I'm really hungry and I have to wait a little bit, maybe half an hour until my sister gets here. So I've just come outside and it's warm, it's got clear sky. It's so strange to think that this is where I live now. I'm so excited. That little coffee shop in there is not even open. Yeah, I might just sit out here and have some fresh air to be honest. Um, so my sister's heading to the airport anyway this morning. It's 6am here now. But her boyfriend is flying, he is doing his first week at work this week and he does FIFO, which is like fly in, fly out. So he needs to be dropped to the airport in half an hour anyway, so it's perfect. I just said I'd sit and get a little coffee. Um, I might just sit out here and watch the sunrise a bit more. So the coffee shop has opened. The tiredness is definitely kicking in. I think I slept for four hours in the last 30 hours, but 
anyway, um, I've got my first Australian coffee and it tastes so good. And I'm just setting an intention of love and peace and happiness and good times and calmness. And yeah, my sister is 10 minutes away. I'm just gonna go and jump straight in the ocean, I feel like I'm in a movie. I think my sister's like, what are you doing? But I think because I'm just going through a breakup shoot, she's like, okay, we can do the crazy shit that you wanna do. And then she's gonna help me, drive me around all day, help me get a SIM card, drop me at my hotel later, and then I'll take you guys with me to my audition, or I'll get ready with you guys. I don't know if I can take you. I'll figure it out when I get there. So I might just sit out here and watch the sunrise a little bit more. <laughs> Got heaps of kind of looks like bird poo. <laughs> it's not what I'm going for. Maybe put a hat on, you might look cooler. <laughs> but I'm gonna get my hair wet. Yeah, but really just for now. Yeah, that looks like really it's a bit tight on there. Have you got big hair? Yeah, I've got massive hair. So we've just got to the beach. No, you need a hat. <laughs> oh, I've got such a big head. And you've got crusty. I've just got off the plane. Yeah, there we go. Look. Slip slaps up. I've got my sunscreen on, got my hat on, and I'm about to go dip in the ocean. My sister's so organised, she's bought a cereal and everything in a little bag. A dog's on a little dog bed and the beach is gorgeous. I'm sorry, but look at this. There's not another person in sight. We've got it all to ourselves. How are you? Good. Yeah, it's pretty warm. You've been in yet? Yeah? Pardon? Have you been in yet? Yeah? yeah, it's pretty warm. Is it? Good girl. Hey, hey. Yeah. Becky. Meg has bought us some cereal and yogurt. Hi guys, so we just had a really nice little time at the beach. And my sister's just coming out of the shop now. She's got me a SIM card. So yeah, she's just doing like little life admin things with me today, helping me set a couple of things up. Um, I'm gonna fake tan, shower, get all glammed up for tonight for my interview. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have a little nap. Might sleep in my tan. Hello. Oh, that's a big orange juice. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Four dollars. Oh, that's that. Yeah. <laughs> I get like low blood sugar, so I have to have stuff like this. I think that's what it is, anyway. Yay! Thank you, sis. Hi, everyone. I'm just at my sister's house, and I'm about to have a nap because I'm exhausted. Um. She just made me a really nice pasta bake. Got my eye mask on. And uh, yeah, I just feel like really looked after. It's really nice. Um, gonna have a little sleep now. And then when we get up, we're gonna go and buy some new dancer heels for me. And then I'll, my sister will drop me at my hotel. And then I'll start getting ready to turn this into something a bit more fabulous. Good night. Hi everyone. So just got a little iced coffee and my sister and her boyfriend Josh are just dropping me at my hotel and then it's time to get glam and apparently tonight is not a working audition and you don't even have to take your outfits and stuff you just it's like a, just a chat so I might even go to a different club after and see if that'll let me work but we'll see so I'm at my hotel 
Um, I just put something really basic, but yeah. Here we go. Hello everyone. So I'm in my hotel. I just had a nice shower and I realised I don't have an adapter for Australia. So, but I've got my Dyson, <clears throat> which is a New Zealand plug, which is the same. So I'm going to have to curl my hair with the air wrap, which is fine. And I can't charge my, I can't charge my phone either. But luckily I've got two phones, so I'll buy a charger tomorrow. But I think I'm going to meet a friend for coffee. She works at the club already. And then, you know, I can have a little chit chat with her, see like what she, see what she has to say about working there. But yeah, I've got about hmm, an hour. I've got an hour to do my hair and makeup. Um, this hotel room is booked tomorrow. So I find out tomorrow in the morning if um, my lips are so dry because I forgot to take the chapstick on the plane. Um, I find out tomorrow if there's room like another bed for me at my friend's house um because they arrive tomorrow so yeah apparently there's a sofa bed so one of one of the friends is gonna go on the sofa bed and i can share a bed with my friend tilly so it's kind of like one day at a time at the moment but you know what i love it like i really feel like i'm on a new adventure anyway i'm gonna get to getting ready now I just had a good idea. Um, the lady that I'm doing a stripology course with called Wendy, um, it's like I've spoke about this before but it's basically like the course that I've signed up for and this girl called Wendy who actually lives here in Perth she um, was always a top earner and she studied a lot of psychology and done a lot of like therapy work and worked with like body language um, specialists and things like that and she's created um, a course and I've had friends that have done it and they've like tripled their earnings in the industry so I'm just going to voice note her and ask if she has any advice for penthouse because obviously i'm going for an interview there today and she worked there for a long time i think so i'm just gonna do that now hi wendy i hope you're good and that you're having a nice day um i arrived in perth this morning and i've got my interview at the penthouse club tonight and i know that you work there i was just gonna ask can you give me any tips or is there anything that i need to know i'm going in about um well, I'm going in at nine o'clock, so yeah. I just thought I'd reach out to you and see if you had anything to say. Thank you. So I was in a bit of a rush because I met my friend for coffee and I went for the interview. I got the job, which I'm really excited about because it's probably the nicest club that I'll ever work at with the best reputation. It was absolutely stunning venue, really well managed and organised. Um, it was an interview, so I didn't really feel comfortable vlogging on my very first like time I'd ever walked in there. But um, yeah, I'm feeling really good about that. I've just got to wait for this like ABN, some like a number so that you can work legally in the country i've got to wait for that to come back and then i can start so i'm gonna have a sleep now and i will see you guys tomorrow hello everyone so i've just met up with grace's boyfriend max good day mate and his brother tommy and so we're all going to stay in an apartment together for the next couple of weeks while we are all figuring out where we're going to live and stuff. So Grace is about to arrive, I think, at one, about 1 a.m. tonight. I reckon about, she'll probably get there about 2 in the morning. Right? 2 in the morning. So we're not going to see her till really early hours of the morning. But I'm sorted for a place to stay for a couple of weeks. And we're just having a little experience. 
explore of the city today. The weather is beautiful. And yeah, everything's going good, isn't it, guys? Absolutely fantastic. Could not be better. A YouTube channel coming soon from uh, Max here. <laughs> <laughs> So we've just come into Anytime Fitness because I'm already a member but the boys are going to have a little look around. <laughs> Hi, it's okay. How are you? So we've just done the essential, very sensible thing and bought sunscreen and put it all over us while we've been walking. Um, we are viewing a couple of gyms today. So I actually did a little gym session at Anytime Fitness earlier because I'm already a member and you can use that in England and Australia. I just switched to my phone because my camera's dead. Um, but yeah, now we're, so we viewed Anytime Fitness again with the boys. And then now we're going to view a gym that Max wants to look at. I think it's a little bit more of like a bodybuilding gym. So yeah, just have, just getting the steps in really, like walking around the city. And then Grace and Tilly, my, yeah, so they're my two dancer friends. And yeah, they'll be arriving tonight. Definitely not really my thing, but uh, it's a really impressive setup. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I've only got one side of eyelashes on. My other side, I picked them all out last night because I did these myself yesterday in the hotel room. So I've got, see, I've got one eye on and one eye off. I knew that you guys wouldn't have noticed. I, I was like, you know, I don't want to say anything. Did you? Yeah. Fucking hell. I'm pretty good at that. Not bad. I was like, I'm spending a day with two lads. They're not going to notice. But you actually did. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're just in a shop, we're just having a little look. Okay, it is really obvious now the lashes. Just got a little coffee for my afternoon kick. And yeah, we're just having a little browse around really. Um, and then back to the apartment. I don't even know if I'm working tonight because I'm waiting for my like legal Australian number to come back in, which is called like an ABN. I've applied for it two days ago, but it's not come back. So as soon as I get that, I can go to work. So we've had a big day walking around. I think we've done like 15,000 steps or something. I've still got the one eyelashes on. I need to sort that out. But I'm just Ubering to a shoe shop because I actually need um, some pleasers. Okay. So I've just come to this amazing shoe shop and look at all the heels, look at the selections. I'm actually in heaven right now. They're absolutely stunning. And there's a podium to take photos. I love it. And I'm getting these babies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That's yeah, so cool. They're so, they're so oh, good. Oh, I love them. That's amazing. Wow. Let me put them down. Yeah, I'm ready. Wow. So pretty. Hi guys, so I googled and online I found a stripper heel shop and she does loads of stuff and she has so much stock and, sorry just charging my phone, and I bought some new shoes. I'll just go inside the apartment. So I've got all my luggage at the apartment with the boys now and then the girls arrive tonight. They've arrived. This Woo. is Chili. Hey guys. And Grace is in the uh, other room with a boyfriend, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have a good sleep now. We've got some Percy pigs. <laughs> we're gonna have a good sleep and then we're gonna wake up and go for a nice breakfast in the morning. Exciting. Yeah, good night guys. Morning. Morning hug. First morning all together in Australia and we're starting by Tilly doing some lashes for me. So, and then when we go to the beach later, I can actually swim in the sea and hopefully they'll stay on. Mm -hmm. Don't you yeah. Tilly is a lash, you're a qualified lash artist, mm -hmm. aren't you? So handy. Yeah, back in the UK, so. We're about halfway through now, so it looks a bit crazy at the minute, but yeah. I'll put you guys, where should I put them? Like that. <laughs> We're 
finished. They're quite bold. I'm very yeah, happy. Yeah, naked. I can go and see. Well, I'm going to make a naked mole round. <laughs> <laughs> we can see if they're like sea proof. I'm not yeah. going to get my expectations up, but it's, yeah, it's worth a go. Um, <laughs> we're just going to get ready for breakfast, aren't we? Mm -hmm. And waiting for the others to wake up. I'm going to have our first Aussie breakfast. <laughs> Exciting! Yummy. Bye! Right to be in the vlog? Yeah. Hi everyone! Hello. So we've got the whole gang now, we're all together. We're going out for our first outing. We're gonna get some breakfast. And then we've got a few admin bits to do, don't we? We do indeed. And then the beach in a bit, so it's beautiful weather. So yeah, this is fine already. <laughs> this is our first little outing together. It's so exciting, it doesn't really yeah. feel real, does it? No. If it's a like green, the sky is yeah, yeah. no clouds at all. The sky is just so bright blue, it's so nice. You just feel happier when the weather's like this, don't you? These two are so bloody cute. <laughs> <laughs> All loved up. <laughs> yeah. We're the single Pringles. Ready to mingle. Yeah, watch out Western Australia. <laughs> We've arrived. <laughs> this place is absolutely gorgeous. Like, are you kidding me? This is our home now. It's beautiful. It still doesn't feel real, like, yeah, I just love it. I'm looking at it thinking, I've got So we've walked down to the harbour and we're gonna go that way for breakfast. This is our little breakfast spot by the water. Oh my God, it's so cute. You can hey. in the UK in some places. We're not in Birmingham with the pigeons anymore. <laughs> we've got parrots in the tree. It's like a parrot in a tree. I don't know if you can see that. That's beautiful. I don't think you could. Where are they? The smaller the money, the bigger the coin. The boys are exploring the new currency. <laughs> Let's have a look at it. What's more? 50. Yeah. One dollar. Yeah. Two dollar. Ah, so it's all it's backwards. backwards. Yeah. Who's the queen's one? Very mango at all. It's literally just. Is it more banana? Well, yeah, banana. You yeah. wanted more mango, didn't you? Um. This is why I love Australian coffee. I'm sorry, but how perfect is that? I've got a... <laughs> what have you got, Tommy? Egg some toast! Two croissants, a salad, corn fritters with some eggs, and another salad with chicken, and a beautiful view. Right, so we just had our breakfast, and now we're walking down parallel to the water. Look at these beautiful buildings, look at the architecture. There's some nice, there's a nice like bar restaurant there. And this is where you can get the ferry to Rottnest Island and see the quokkas, which are they only live on Rottnest Island. What is that? Oh, I think you can go up, you can go up it and like view view Perth. That's great. It's a vibe, everything looks clean. There's no litter anywhere, is there? No. Someone is getting uh, ready for I'm gonna rest some hippos and crocs. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking take them. <laughs> Someone's getting in the Aussie spirits. <laughs> Just stocking up on some water. <laughs> this one. Yeah. So we've just arrived at Scarborough and it is absolutely unreal. So beautiful. I see why everyone loves this area. <laughs> um, so my little sister is actually coming to meet us all and she's bringing her puppy. And then we're meeting our other friend, Paula, and we, uh, who we know from New Zealand. And then we're all going to get some food together. But yeah, this is bliss. Like This is probably one of the nicest beaches I've ever been to. So yeah, I'm very excited to be here. We're just having a little chill on the beach. We've got our music, and then we're gonna go. Oh, this is trying to be my vlog. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. And then I think we're gonna go for some Italian food, aren't we? Pasta and salad, of course. Because we're all being healthy. The girls, we're all in the same mindset at the minute. Boat. Your hair's dried fast and it's straight. Oh my god, you're so lucky. Oh, right. No thanks. It doesn't, doesn't work for me. Mine's just <laughs> yeah, so. 
I'm just gonna vlog a little bit and introduce Paula to the vlog. Guys, your vlog. Your mug. Do you, uh, you don't mind using the vlog, do you? I'm not shy, but yeah. <laughs> um, did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy the ocean, Tommy? Mate, the ocean. Oh, it is a spiritual experience, so isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Did you enjoy the ocean till? Absolutely loved it. I did lose my glasses though, and Max actually found them. And then Max randomly found them, didn't he? Hero. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, there she is. Hi. This, this is Paula, the gorgeous Hello. Paula. Hello, She's our friend from New Zealand. Yeah. And you're, you've been, how long have you been here now? December. December. All the good months, summer. Yeah. So she's showing us all the best places to be. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. That's what we do in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> Sun, sea and be sexy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, because you're from Spanish. Are you no, Spanish? Uh, I speak Spanish. You speak Spanish, but you're from Uruguay. Uruguay, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you speak a bit of Spanish, don't you, Tommy? Si. Sí. Un poco. Si. Yeah. And then the girls, your you girls, are, yeah, you yeah, girls are learning Spanish, aren't you? We're learning. Yeah. Spanish is another language anyway. And then yeah. I so, so yeah. Top, top five Spanish. Look at little Becky. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, Helen. <laughs> oh. She's learning. Look at her. Oh, well done, Becky.